Hey, today I'm not going to be doing anything too advanced. I'm going to be only looking at just your everyday household sharpie, um, no, no fancy science. Um, but of course they come in all different shapes and sizes and colors too. Um, this is a sharpie magnum I have. And when you open these and smell them, then, you know, I think most people think that they smell like chemicals, just kind of like a blank term. Um, you know, obviously there are, there are chemicals in this, but uh, as a chemist, then I know that these contain things like, uh, probably like toluene kind of smells like to me, or maybe xylenes. These are very common laboratory solvents. And so if Sharpie contains these, then that means that they're flammable, right? And that's exactly what I did. So I took a bunch of just random pens from my, uh, from my collection here at my house. And uh, I just did this ballpoint pen as a, uh, as a standard in the front. I, I'm, I know very well that it's not going to burn. It's just plastic and metal. So I guess eventually it'll melt, but obviously it didn't do anything. Uh, so then I moved on to the classic Sharpie. Um, and I didn't really think it would do too much, but it actually, it actually burns quite well. I mean, it, would, it burns a little bit more intensely than just like a regular candle, um, which kind of blew my mind. I mean, as a kid, then um, I, I would have always wanted to, to, to light a Sharpie on fire, but I guess I never got the opportunity to. Um, so now I moved on to my Magnum Sharpie, which uh, I like a lot. It, I've, it, it's been in my house since I can remember, so I didn't want to destroy this one. Um, so I was being really careful with it when I um, set it on fire. And it burns quite well. Um, so then I, I took the uh, the smaller sharpie and I wanted to extract the part of the sharpie that contains all that ink and all that solvent. And I proceeded to basically kind of milk the um, milk that dark black um, liquid out of that like it's kind of like a plastic tube basically. Um, and I got like this syrupy black substance that when I tried to light it on fire, it actually lit. So you can kind of see a small blue flame in there. And this was super surprising to me because, I mean, that means there's quite a bit of solvent in there. Um, and that solvent is exactly what you smell. That's what allows uh, the Sharpie to um, have all those dark pigments that are kind of dissolved in that plastic foam uh, tip. Um, and here's me adding acetone uh, to that substance to try and re-dissolve it back into a solution. And yeah, that acetone is um, pretty dark now. Um, and when I add a paper towel to it, then uh, you can see that the paper towel, of course, gets nice and stained. And Sharpie, I don't know if you knew this, but Sharpie is actually like a dark purple color um, in essence. It always looks black to us, but that's how it is. Um, I also wanted to test just to see if there's anything else going on, so I took a regular paper towel, um, tried burning it, see how well it would light. It didn't light very well. And so then I took a paper towel that was doused in the uh, ink from the Sharpie just to see if it would burn at maybe a higher rate or something, but it did not. Um, so that uh, felt kind of conclusive to me that it was definitely the solvent, not the ink, which I, that's what I expected completely. Um, and then I had a bunch of acetone in a beaker, and what else am I going to do besides uh, burn it? Um, I was also kind of curious if maybe the actual appearance of the ink on the side of the glass might change as it got hotter. Now acetone doesn't really burn at really high temps at all. In fact, you can put it on your hand and it will burn on your hand, your bare skin, uh, for some time before it starts to hurt. But um, regardless, it was really just the acetone in this case that was burning um, and the ink just kind of stayed behind in the glass. Um, you can see kind of the bottom here, it's just, just black and kind of iridescent too. Um, and to further show that the ink is uh, requires acetone or like a, an organic solvent to be dissolved in for the pen, I um, poured acetone into this uh, graduated cylinder and I just dipped the uh, broken off piece of the Sharpie into that to show how easily, um, easily that purpley, uh, black ink can be dissolved in there. Um, pretty easy. Pretty easy. When I compare it to something like water, 
it definitely is not soluble in there. And then I just had this Sharpie that I had already ruined, so I decided to extract the, uh, the ink housing unit uh, from that one. Um, and I decided to do, like always, um, a nice little end capping burn for my videos, because, I don't know, the last video was distillation. This one just felt like I needed more flames in it. It makes me happy. I hope it makes my viewers happy. And if you're interested, like and subscribe and keep following me for more material that I hope to produce. Let me know what I can do, and I'll see you next time.